Stephen Paul. No more counting down the days to January 14th. We made it. I never have to say goodbye to you again as I reflect on my prayers for my future spouse over the years. I see how faithful God has been down to the smallest details. My, <laughs> my dark curly haired boy, you are everything I have dreamed and prayed for. I see Jesus in you every day. Your grace and compassion for others always amazes me. Your pursuit of me since day one often reminds me of God's love for us, never stopping, unconditional passion. One of my favorite things about you is your ability to make me laugh at any given moment. I treasure this. I look forward to all of the daily adventures we are going to have in this next in this new season of our lives. I know it's going to be so fun. I know that together we will seek the Lord and pursue His glory and, and splendor together. We can face anything, no fear of fire or rising tide. We can take the world. Let's get married. I love you always and forever. Abby. To my Abigail, February 24th, 2021 marks the most important question in my life. After years of waiting, praying, listening, doubting, and believing for God to show me who I was meant to spend the rest of my life with, on February 24th, 2021, that very important question came back to me. I remember asking myself, is Abby the one, Abigail McLeod, my lifelong friend? I remember the feeling the Holy Spirit put in me, that sense of urgency, of excitement, of a new adventure, <laughs> that path I had been waiting to start to open up and become visible. I couldn't have dreamed of dating, let alone marrying you. You were always so fun and so sarcastic. You were real and I loved that about you. There was always something about you, your smile, your laugh, your eyes. <laughs> um, they always stood out to me, always. Every time you came back home to visit, I was stunned at how beautiful you had become, but still the same heart and mind. You never let the world change you, and I was drawn to that. I never felt like I deserved somebody like you. Your beauty still wrecks me when I see you. I feel like the luckiest man to get to look at the beautifully elegant face. <laughs> Your eyes make me fall in love all over again. I thank God for you every day. You are a constant blessing to me. Your heart, your mind, and your thoughts. Yes. <laughs> and your dreams draw me to you. I love everything about you, and I can never find the words to describe how I truly feel about you. Abigail, I love you, and I can't live without you. I'm so honored and proud to call you my wife. And I will always think back to August 7th of 2021, after a month of planning and patience, getting down on one knee and asking you to be my wife. That looming question that followed me for years and years was finally answered. Abigail Lee McLeod, you are the one, my soulmate, my best friend, my love, and my heart. <laughs> Yours forever and always, Stephen. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Whether it's for better or for the worse As long as we're together we'll make it through this I knew that it was true from the very first time I kissed your lips I know every day Sometimes you may feel like giving up But you just gotta look back and remember what we're made of I'll stay by your side when storms are raging I will hold you close tonight And I until the morning rise.
Absolutely gorgeous. Wow. Babe. <clears throat> wow. <laughs> I think it works. <laughs> Dear God, we thank you for this, for this day. We thank you that we're finally here. We thank you for everything you've been doing to, to lead up to this uh, celebration and all the many blessings you've been, you've been putting on us. Uh, I thank you for Abigail and I thank you for the blessing that she is and I thank you that um, I get to spend the rest of my life with her. Uh, I pray that everything will just go smoothly and that you'll just bless the rest of this day and that um, from here on out, uh, we're just overjoyed that we get to be with each other for the rest of our lives. Uh, and we thank you and praise in your name. Amen. Oh, I'll stay by your side. Father, we thank you for being here. We don't want to do anything without you. So it is the prayer of Stephen and Abby, everything in their life, they want you present in it. And I can't think of a better time to invite your presence to be with us today. As we have gathered with family and friends to celebrate this amazing occasion. Thank you. He says, For I received from the Lord that which I have also delivered to you, that the Lord Jesus, on the same night in which he was betrayed, took bread. And when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, Take, eat, for this is my body, which is broken for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same manner, he also took the cup, after supper, saying, This cup is a new covenant in my blood. This do as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. For as often as you eat this bread and drink this cup, you, pro you proclaim the Lord's death until he comes. Mm -hmm. 